In this video, we will compare four disorders transmural infarct, subendocardial infarct, unstable angina, and prince metal angina. Because in two of them, cardiac enzymes are raised, and in two of them, there is ST elevation, and two of them, ST depression. So, first, we compare the transmural infarct with the subendocardial infarct. In transmural infarct, there is ST elevation, whereas in subendocardial infarct, there is ST depression. So, what's the meaning of ST elevation and ST depression? ST elevation indicates injury to the mind myocardial cell and ST depression indicates an ischemia and what T inversion mean? T inversion indicates ischemia. So both inversions or depressions mean ischemia. T inversion and ST depression. In transmural infarct there is a development of the Q wave that's why it's also known as Q wave MI but in subendocardial infarct there is no Q wave it's also known as NQ wave MI but not all transmural infarct develop Q wave because if the treatment is started early the Q wave doesn't develop. So what does the Q wave mean? Q wave indicates that tissues are dead and are negative compared to the surrounding normal tissues. Transmural infarct involves the full thickness of the cardiac wall, whereas subendocardial infarct involves the partial thickness of the cardiac half or one third of the thickness of the wall. Transmural is due to complete occlusion of a major coronary artery. Subendocardial is due to incomplete occlusion of a major coronary artery or due to occlusion of a smaller branch of coronary artery. In transmural infarct, coronary atherosclerosis and superimposed thrombosis blocks the coronary artery that causes infarction. Most commonly subendocardial infarct is due to rupture or erosion of atherosclerotic plaque causing embolization and thrombosis. And what's the culprit lesion in subendocardial infarct? Culprit region on angiography shows eccentric stenosis with a scalar or overhanging edges and a narrow neck. Angiography in transmural infarct reveals red thrombi whereas angiography in subendocardial infarct reveals white platelet rich thrombus. So what's the treatment difference? In transmural infarct is the fibrinal fibrinolysis is done, whereas in the absence of ST elevation fibrinolysis is not helpful. So in subendocardial infarct anticoagulants are given. What is the action of fibrinolytics? They are plasminogen activator. They convert plasminogen to plasmin and plasmin is the substance which dissolves the clot which dissolves fibrin clot. Whereas anticoagulant they do not dissolve the clot. They just prevent the formation of new clots. Anticoagulants prevent the formation of clot but once the clot is formed anticoagulants cannot dissolve them. Disorder from which we differentiate transmural infarct is prince metal angina because in prince metal angina ST elevation also occurs. So what are the differences between prince metal angina and a transmural infarct? Biomarkers are not raised in prince metal angina whereas raised in transmural infarct. ST elevation in prince metal angina is transient and occurs only during the rest pain. Prince metal angina patients do not have coronary artery disease and is not related to exertion. Transmural have coronary artery disease, atherosclerosis and thrombosis. Prince metal angina patients are usually young female smokers and is related or associated with Raynaud's disease and is also associated with aspirin induced asthma whereas transmural infarct patients are old and it's not associated with a Raynaud's disease or peripheral vascular disease. So what happens in Prince metal? There is transient coronary spasm. So vasospasm is due to platelet thromboxane A2. In Prince metal, coronary angiography demonstrate transient coronary spasm, most commonly in the right coronary artery at one or multiple sites. Prince metal angina patients may develop arrhythmias during ischemic episodes. Other disorder that is to be differentiated from subendocardial infarct is unstable angina because in unstable angina there is S ST depression and also in subendocardial infarct there is ST depression but in unstable angina cardiac biomarkers are not raised. Unstable angina comes on during rest and is due to multivascular atherosclerotic diseases and it lasts for more than 15 minutes. It has increased risk of myocardial infarction and may progress to acute MI. It doesn't respond to nitroglycerin and the treatment is similar to that of MI.